All right, so we got the intercooler in. And that's about where I'm gonna put it. And so I already have trimmed, I trimmed the whole bottom off the grill here. And now I'm gonna have to cut this mount for sure. And then um, it's still hitting, and that's pushed all the way back against the core support. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more out of this grill. Um, I got about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch of those ribs there. So we'll uh, I'll cut it up, see where I get, and then I'll show you guys. And it's pretty close already. So and then we'll obviously have to cut some holes in the in the core support there for the piping to go through. And I'm hoping that I can fit my my uh, 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 oil. I'm hoping I can fit my oil cooler in here somewhere too. So we'll see once we get I want to get the inner cooler mounted up and then see if there's any room for that. So hopefully there's hopefully there's a place for it. Well, I got her hanging there. So what I've done so far, just bent some. Uh, it's like an eighth inch little steel uh, bent it up at an angle bolted it on there and I had to grind off see where those mounts are welded on the uh, the middle one on the inside I had to ground that down so I wanted to get this thing as high as I could to get it here I'll show you to get it actually in the grill not blocked by the bumper so that's about where it's at and I got maybe a half inch underneath the grill so if I gotta trim the bumper I guess I'll have to do that but we'll see how that fits um, but yeah that is uh, it's gonna be a very tight fit these are intercoolers up against the um, core support here which hopefully that won't cause any problems it's on the main on the main uh tank of it not on the on these so i don't know i feel like it should be all right shouldn't rattle around too much once i get this bottom mount i'm gonna run some steel across here mount it down to this main member here and then yeah we'll see if we have room anywhere for that oil cooler but this is the biggest part so hopefully get this sitting where it should go I got the uh, lower mount figured out here so it's just some some uh, one inch wide flat bar on top and bottom and then the uh, one inch square tube so I had to, I had to angle it in like that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up tack it up on here and then I'll bring on the bench and weld it all up and hopefully it doesn't uh, warp too much and bolts right back on so I'll show you guys a little, a little welding here alright so got the mounts all painted up for the intercooler the top two are just a simple little L bracket and the bottom is like you see here and I had to angle it back to get it on that lower cross member of the frame and then drill the holes in it bolt it on and then I had to I ground that middle the middle uh, nut I guess ground that down so I can get the intercooler up as high as I can so hopefully the bumper will clear it so I'm gonna get this thing mounted up show you guys there it is all mounted up so L brackets on top and that big mount on the bottom so now I can get my oil cooler mounted up behind there and I'm gonna have to space that radiator back about an inch to be able to clear everything so let's get that uh, oil cooler mounted and then we can um, I can get all these all the rest of these lines built for it 
and then space that radiator out and everything should be fine. I just gotta find one more one more coolant hose to finish up the the radiator or cooling system. So yeah, let's get to that making some mounts for that cooler. Alright, another little uh modification I had to do. So this PD150 manifold, as you can see, sits quite a bit higher than the stock ALH manifold. The manifold itself clears, but this race pipe stuck out and it was straight. And it stuck out probably four inches, four or five inches, and it was hitting the hood. So I had to uh, cut cut that thing and weld on a weld it at an angle so it can and it and it shoots down towards the uh, the intercooler pipe which is going to be coming out right about there so that'll be a little easier to pipe it to so just another thing to be aware of if you're running this if you're running that PD150 manifold that's a little taller in the race pipe might need some modifications especially well this is a 91 Toyota I don't know if Jeeps or anything are different but so yeah that was uh that's my aluminum weld that's been a while since I've done it I feel like it turned out alright I'm gonna try to polish it and get that uh, that cleaning action stuff off of there where the oxidation was but yeah 